Those of you who are going to complain and whine and say, why are you doing this? You're trying to hurt Super Game Module. No, I'm not. I'm not trying to hurt Opcode. I think Opcode is fucking awesome. I think their Super Game Module is fucking awesome. The sound on this is unfreaking believable. The quality of the build is unbelievable. I pulled this apart in the previous video and looked at it. It's all beautiful and professional. Awesome. So again, I, I, I plead with you guys. Don't start the BS of whining and complaining and how this is all about whatever drama you want to include. This is a ColecoVision. We all love the ColecoVision. We don't need the drama no more. We got enough drama in this world. We don't need to have drama. Hi everybody. So today we're looking at an atom here. It's just a plain stock atom. Nothing special about it. Nothing's plugged into it. I got a diagnostic cartridge here. This diagnostic cartridge lets you detect if there's a super game module attached or whatever. So I'm just going to try run the diagnostic cartridge and see what happens on an atom that doesn't have one. And yeah, you can see it over here. What's plugged into the expansion port is not a super game module. That's my serial card. So there's no super game module involved at all. So start the diagnostic cartridge. It detects that there's an atom. It detects that there's 24K of RAM available. It says that the lower 8K is available too, but there's a failure in the sound chip. So basically, yeah, it's an atom, and it doesn't have the AY sound chip, so it fails on that. So that's our base point right there. All right, so now we have my stock ColecoVision right here. I'm going to put the diagnostic cartridge in it, turn it on. It's going to go through its process. Detects that it's a ColecoVision, found that there's only 1K of RAM, no Super Game Module detected, and it stops. Now I have the Super Game Module here, and I'm going to plug it in. Sometimes I have bad connections on here. i got to pull this apart and clean the expansion interface. So if I had to reset this, that's nothing to do with that. It's just the dirty connector there. But let's see, Super Game Module plugged in. And let's see what it does. ColecoVision RAM is okay, Super Game Module detected, 24K RAM, 8K ROM. Testing a sound chip, and let's see, where's the volume? It'll start playing sound. So the Super Game module is working just fine, as it should be. We'll unplug that. Remove it. We'll turn it back on, just, just to show that we're back to stock again. 1K, no Super Game module detected. All right, so I'm back here. Sorry for the break in continuity, but um, office neighbors decided to have a conversation out in the entryway about their hair color. And at first I tried to talk over it, but it got louder and louder and they got excited. And Anyways, so I removed the Super Game module and now I'm back here and I have just this stock CV going. And you can see, stock CV, nothing installed. Now, we have here, oh, let me turn this down. I turned it up for the sound. We have here what I call the Ginkgo Biloba because Ginkgo Biloba improves your memory. But basically it's a RAM board, Rambo, something like that. I'm going to come up with a name. I mean, the, the Commodore 64 had the Rambo board. I thought that was kind of cool. But this right here, that's a 64K RAM chip, but we're only using 32K. Is it 64K? Yeah, 64K RAM chip, but we're only using 32K. What is this you say? Well, I'm going to plug it in here and I'm going to start it. I probably just gave it away, but I plugged the old Rambo board in there. I'm going to turn this on and we're going to test it. And we can see, comes up the ColecoVision. It says there's a Super Game module detected. 24K, RAM OK, 8K, RAM OK. Failure in sound chip. Why is that? This is not a Super Game module. This is a RAM board. It has 32K of RAM that acts like the Super Game module RAM. Why do we have that? This is not to replace a Super Game module because it doesn't. There are no sound chip in here, no ability to put a sound chip in here, so any games that are written that require that sound chip, that require the AY chip, will not run on this. You will, it will act just like it is on an Atom without a Super Game module. It won't run. But, but, any games that don't require the AY chip, that just require the RAM, any games that will run on an Atom, without a Super Game module, or won't run on a ColecoVision without a Super Game module, we'll run on this. 
no sound, you ain't going to get the sound if it has AY chip because it's not going to give you sound because there is no AY chip for sound. But it does give you the ramp. Now, why did I do this? Is this to try to affect Super Game Module sales? Well, no. Um, basically, the Super Game Module is not available right now, but I guess they're coming out with more. That's great. This is to offer options. The games that I'm going to be writing through 8 Bitmilly games. The Doom and Stein, Doom, Zombie Killer, the one that I've been working on for a while, needs RAM. It needs RAM to pre-design the 3D world instead of working with the VRAM, which slows you down. No problem if you're playing the game on the Atom, because you have the RAM there. No problem if you're playing the game with the Super Game Module, no problem. But if you just have a stock ColecoVision, you're screwed. you got to buy a Super Game Module if you can find one or run it on the Atom. But... With the Rambo board, Ramborg, Ginkgo Biloba, whatever I come up with the name, you don't need to do that. You can plug this in here and get that RAM, which I'm going to be requiring in basically every game that needs RAM is going to use this. Or run on the Atom, or run in a Super Game Module. It's going to be transparent. It's not going to care which one it's on. I won't be using the AY chip, though, just so that I don't exclude anybody. So, how would you get this? This is going to be available through my store through members at first, but eventually through everybody else. It's going to basically be cost of parts, plus time to put it together, roughly 30 to $40. I haven't got the exact price yet. It might be above 40 it might be less than 30 I have to rework the pricing, because I had to chase all over the place for these chips. I can order the chips from AliExpress a lot cheaper, but I wanted to get them quicker, so I had to buy them on Amazon, eBay. A local person 10 miles away from me had the RAM chips. The angle bracket, or the angle bracket, the edge connector, that I had to order, I ordered via um, eBay from Taiwan, then I ordered from AliExpress, and I actually got the AliExpress ones, are coming in two days, and the eBay ones showed up two days ago, or three days ago. So, based on where I get the parts, the price may be, and the, the boards are a piece of cake, I can have the boards made, and I get them in two weeks. So, the price are going to be from 30 to, let's just ballpark at 30 to 50, somewhere in there, plus shipping. And that's assembled. Um, I may throw a socket in the RAM here so they put the RAM in there because you could then always take out the RAM and put it in NV RAM just in case you wanted to. I don't know why you would. One of the people that I work with said that you could always have the NV RAM in there and then if you go in and you toggle out the see how it says lower 8K RAM here? That's hidden behind the OS 7 ROM. But you could toggle the OS 7 ROM out and get to the RAM which is NV RAM and you could save stuff in there. But the whole thing's NV RAM. But you could talk, you could save stuff behind you, and then when you turn it off, turn it back on, it's still there. I don't know if I'm going to do that or not, but it was a cool thought. Because if I did that, then I am anything that takes advantage of that needs this board, so it doesn't work with the other. So that that goes against the whole idea. This is just an option for people that don't want to buy a Super Game module or can't buy one, don't want to pay the exorbitant price on eBay for one, and they're waiting and waiting for one. They could use one of these to play the games that are coming out in the future from 8-Bit Millie games that require the extra RAM or play any super games that don't require the extra RAM. And I'm going to show you one of them right now. So, I'm going to turn this off here. Alright, so what I've done is I burned an EEPROM with a 32K RAM or 32K ROM image of a game that requires a super game module that I had available. So I'm just going to put it in here and I'm going to turn it on. It's ColecoVision, no Super Game Module installed, nothing installed. Stock ColecoVision. This game requires a Super Game Module. Okay. And I just want to show you, so I'm, done, I'm going to pause this for a moment. Alright, back over here at the Atom. I'm going to put the same game in here. You see, Danger Tower. It plays with no issue on the Atom. You just don't have sound because there's no Super Game Module. It just wants that extra RAM. Now back over on the CV, Clegal Vision. You see I got the game module installed there. I'm going to plug it in. I'm going to turn it up a little bit because there is some volume sound in this one. And turn it on. <laughs> Wake him up. I think I got a bad controller plugged in here. Oh, wait, it's not one, it's fire button, duh. Any sound? There's a sound right there. 
So, yes. You see it works and it's got the sound because obviously the Super Game Module has the AY chip that requires the sound, or makes the sound. So, turn that off. Now we're going to put in the new board. Turn her on. She comes up live. Run or die. I got a bad controller here. But see, it's working now, but there's no sound. Because this game's not looking for the sound chip. It's not, it doesn't care if it detects the sound chip at all. So it will run. It, as I said, if the game runs on an Atom without a Super Game Module, it will run on the ColecoVision with this. As long as it doesn't run on the ColecoVision with that... If you can run it on a stock ColecoVision, you don't need this. But if you put it in that says you need a Super Game Module, but yet it will run on the Atom without the Super Game Module, then it will run with this also. So this is a niche. This is not designed to let you play Super Games that require the Super Game Module at all. It's not designed for that. As an added benefit, any games that don't detect or don't go looking for the AY chip, the sound chip, will run on the ColecoVision using this. But it's not designed for that. It's designed to give, you, give me the coder, the programmer, and others who want to take advantage of it too. The extra 32K of RAM, 24, the 8 behind the OS, leave that there. The extra 32K of RAM, so that you can write the games and you can say requires an Atom, or a Super Game Module, or whatever we decide to name this one. So it gives you a third option. So that's what I have designed. And that's what I will be offering to the store, first via members of RetroGamersClub.us, and then after that eventually through the store to the general public. I debated making a box, but you know what? I'm not in the, let's make a cool thing box. I'm going to make it just like this. And you, this, is, this is just for gets and shiggles. I could offer this as a kit. You, you're handy with that soldering iron? You can save me a half hour putting it together. I'll sell it cheaper. There's no problem with that. So there we go. It, I mean, maybe I'll get maybe I'll multiple ways. The boards, I'm not going to, I don't have the right to give the Gerber files away to anybody. But maybe I'll make it multiple level. You can buy the bare bone board and then go source the parts yourself. You can buy the kit and solder together. Or you can buy the finished board. Whichever way you want to work. But that's what we got here. And I really do like the idea of calling it. The ColecoVision Rambo. Rambo. The CB Rambo. I don't think there was ever a ColecoVision game called Rambo. If there was, then I, don't, I haven't seen it. Uh, I kind of like the, the Rambo board. The CB Rambo board. Something like that. The 32K Ram. Maybe just basic, simple 32K. The ColecoVision 32K board. Yeah, whatever we want to call it. But that's what we got here. And this will be available soon once I come up with the right pricing. And I just want to ask right now, I know there's going to be some people that are going to start screaming, why are you trying to take away money from Opcode who made the Super Game? I'm not trying to take away anything from anybody. Not. If I was trying to take away money from Opcode who made the Super Game module, this would have an AY chip on it. It doesn't have one and there is no option to put one on there at all. Uh, I guess if you're really handy, you probably could wire one in somehow. I'm not sure where, but there is no option for an AY chip on here. Never has been, never will be. This is RAM only. Will this work on an Atom? Mm, no. Well, you could plug it in there, but why bother? You already had the RAM. And this won't be visible unless you told it to act like a Super Game Module. And the Super Game Module, eh, I mean, you probably could. So that's what I got here. And again, like I said, those of you who feel that you need to argue and you need to fight about it, you need to complain, you need to say that I'm doing this, doing that, I am not doing anything but offering options to people. That's all. Offering options. Nothing else. This right here gives options to people. And it gives options to me as a programmer. It gives me that extra RAM. I need that extra RAM. 1K of RAM is not enough. When you start adding sound and variables and stuff like that, you run out of RAM. I mean, Arcadian, I just wrote, I was down to like 300 bytes left of RAM. I was running out quickly. And that's without anything special. When I get to Doomenstein, Doom, 
zombie killer, whatever I want to call it, or any of the other games. I mean, Joe the Eskimo is going to be a side scroller. It's going to need some RAM for me to build the images on to dump it straight to the video RAM. Because if you try to write directly to video RAM, it is slow as shit. If you've seen anybody's games who do that, who write directly to video RAM, either it's very slow or very choppy. The way to get around that is to do all your work ahead of time and dump real fast. That can be done. And you don't dump, I mean, I mean, I don't want to give away trade secrets, but here's a trade secret. If I'm dumping to video RAM, I don't dump to the video RAM that, or the screen that you see. I dump to another screen, and as soon as I'm done dumping to that screen, I flip the screen to that next one, and I dump my next screen to the one you don't see. So you never see the screen update, you just see it change. Simple things like that. What I learned from, I learned them from Compute Magazine back in the early 80s with the Atari. That's how you did page flipping. I thought it was friggin' awesome. Page flipping was awesome. And you can do page flipping on the, on the ColecoVision or the Atom if you know how to do it right. It's not that hard. But I need the extra RAM to tinker with, to play with. And this gives me the extra RAM with a very minimal amount of work. Solder some chips in. All off the shelf. No coding, no programming, no gals, no pals, no fouls, no whatever you want to call it. There's none of that. No programming anything. Solder it together, slap it in. Done. So, again, those of you who are going to complain and whine and say, Why are you doing this? You're trying to hurt Super Game Module. No, I'm not. I'm not trying to hurt Opcode. I think Opcode is fucking awesome. I think their Super Game Module is fucking awesome. The sound in this is unfreaking believable. The quality of the build is unbelievable. I pulled this apart in a previous video and looked at it. It's all beautiful and professional. Awesome. If they're available, if they're selling them for $149, you are one of them, I would get one. Because they're awesome. They give you possibilities that you can't get. But if you can't find one of these, or you don't need it, but you want to play a game that 8-Bit Millie is going to be producing, or anybody else who wants to write games that just require the run. Like if you wrote a game that never uses the AY chip, that runs on here with the Super Game Module, or runs on the Atom without the Super Game Module, well now your game will now run on the ColecoVision with this. See? I'm not giving you anything out there. So again, I, I, I plead with you guys, don't start the BS of whining and complaining and how this is all about whatever drama you want to include. This is a ColecoVision. We all love the ColecoVision. We don't need the drama no more. We got enough drama in this world. We don't need to have drama. So, that's it. The ColecoVision 32K Rambo Board Ginkgo Biloba. I have no idea. I will come up with a name, but that is it. Have an awesome day.